Hello everyone, um, I'm coming to you today uh, with a video that is going to show you how I am putting together my 2021 Faith and Spirit Filled Journal. Again, I think I've told you all this before. I like to use a notebook, a binder in order to put my journal together on how I am um, just uh, having my faith journal all in, in one space. Uh, if you go ahead and look at my video before this one, and I'll try to remember to link that video, I have gone through a flip through of my journals through the years and how I've put them together. But this one is going to be specific about the one that's going to be coming up for 2021. And so as you can see, I, it's just a binder. And um, I also have another video, which I'll link uh, in one of the, uh, in the card above uh, that shows when I went shopping for this binder. I got it from uh, Staples, I think, and it's just a, a three ring binder and it's uh, three inches. And this should be enough for me for the needs that I have. So I went and I printed off um, on, on uh, my computer uh, just this, and it says my faith and spirit filled journey uh, for 2021. And again, on the top of it, I got this and printed it off on the computer. These are just some ways that I do to not spend a lot of money, um, but there's nothing wrong if you want to buy a 30, 40, 50, $100 uh, binder, notebook, calendar, or whatever. If you are blessed, and have those resources that God has given you, utilize them. But these are just to let you know there are different ways uh, to incorporate uh, illustrated faith into uh, your spirit journey. So um, I've already uh, printed off. And like I, if you see the video before this, you'll see this is my 2020 binder and I still have the same uh, same page. This is my Bible study notes and the lessons that I'll be teaching because I'm a Sunday school teacher and any research that I do. And this is, I think I showed you all before, how I keep a track of when I've done research or when I have um, taught a lesson and um, I keep all of it. I'm sorry, this is a little heavy. I keep all of it here and I keep the books and the pages all organized and when I come across it in my Bible and yes my Bible has uh, been duct taped together because it's falling apart but when I need to reference something in my I come to my Bible and I see that it's been highlighted in my Bible I have notes that say what date that I actually did some research on this and I can just go back and find that research that I've already done, look at it and add to it and, and to fulfill whatever need that I have at that time. So that's kind of, I think I kind of got that idea from people who bullet journal it, bullet journal. Um, so I'll fill this up. It's empty now because it hasn't started. This is where I'll put my video and my blog ideas uh, that I have. And I do continue with my soap and scripture studies. I think I'm going to maybe start trying to do some verse mapping. I've done it a little bit before, but I don't think I've ever recorded it because I'm new at it. But let me show you uh, really quick. This is, I just use a sketchbook to do um, my soaps and my journaling and I um, have some ideas where I get the scriptures from in the front of it and this is where I soak scripture in and put it in my notebook and these are some pages that I've already have prepared. I like to put it on the side so I can know where I need to when I cut it out of here, where I can cut in order to put my, my three rings in it for my binder. And then the next part, let's see what I decided to keep 
in this journal. The next part, oh, is my prayer, the prayer part of my journal. And if you can look before, I'll show you 2020. It's a little thick to flip through, y'all. This is how the same, I didn't change anything. And this is why I actually like to journal the prayers of my family, the leaders, my church, uh, people that I meet. I journal my prayer requests, um, anything that I want to talk to God with. And this is the day in my life. This is basically my calendar, the things that I have done that day. Um, I like to keep a track of it. Again, you can buy a calendar, but I just have a journal. I'll show you some. And these are just some of the things that I've done. I've already taken them out and put them in my other calendar. Then I just keep a, a track of them and write them down. And again, I put a washi tape on the inside. Oh, excuse me, I put a washi tape on the inside. I'll cut these out, put rings, uh, put um, hole punchers in them, and then I'll put them in my binder. And this is my cards and sentiments. And this is, I'll show you my 2020 calendar, is where I have it in here as well. I keep my cards. I have my Valentine's Day cards, my birthday cards, um, Mother's Day cards, cards that I get, uh, anything anyone has set, uh, sent to me, get well cards. I keep them in, I keep them also in my faith journal because uh, when I get these cards, they help to, um, they help encourage me and um, and I'm so thankful for that people are in my life who think enough about me to uh, send me a card or email or text or whatever it may be. And this part, well, I just changed the owner. Oh, I think this was the days of my life, my calendar. Um, I miss, oh, no, this is the 2021. Getting them mixed up. The miscellaneous stuff. This is just stuff that, um, that I have... Um, kind of extra stuff where I can't think of a place to put it. And right now, I think I shared with you all earlier, this is when my church was going through A Purpose Driven Life uh, by Rick Warren. We were doing that as part of our uh, Bible study on Wednesdays before the before the social distancing kept us from going to church together. But this is also my family. We are doing... Um, if you go to the store or go online, you can order uh, Bible study books. And we're doing one called The Beloved Disciple, The Life and Ministry of John. And it's by Beth Moore. And this is one that um, we began and during the summer. And we've been doing it. We did some of it with when they, during the summer when my grandkids were staying here. We did it with our grandkids. And we just have a nice Bible study at church and we do the workbook pages and we speak about them and we do it just like we were when we do in-home Bible study. We do it just like if we were in um, in worship. We uh, usually find a video and we have praise and worship with song and then we read the Bible and we go through these questions and we go and see how we can interpret, how we interpret the scriptures for ourselves. And we do this as a family. And if you have ever done any of these books, you know that they are set up as a weekly session. But um, we've probably been working on this for, I don't know, a while. Um, you don't have to have any timeline. Uh, you go as the Holy Spirit moves you. And sometimes we take a little bit longer on a section, and sometimes we uh, go through another section fairly quickly. So anyway, that is the miscellaneous section of my notebook. And that is it. I may, you know, if the need arises, all I'll do is I'll make another sleeve. I'll get a document protector and head it off and um, put some pictures in from clip art or from the images online and I will add them in here as I need but this is an example 
of a faith or a spirit uh, notebook journal that I have and and uh, they uh, I have gotten ideas about it of people who I have watched online and other people that I have spoken to who have these journals and and I hope that you can get some ideas from me um, you know that um, you know you can you can do this if you just want to use regular computer paper get a three a realm of 300 pages and and just write in there. You don't have to even, uh, as you can see, I'm not a big draw or anything. I like to use stickers or, or print things off online. And I have a sketch, you know, a sketch pad. You don't have to spend a lot of money on it. You just have the desire, need the desire to want to be closer to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and to grow deeper in your relationship with him. Uh, you all, again, if you want to learn more about the, go a flip through through my uh, my faith notebooks through the uh, through my years. Uh, check out the video that's linked below, and um, you know, let me know how you're doing your faith journey. I hope that this helps you, or in some kind of way, let me know if it does, or if you have any ideas that I can incorporate. I would greatly appreciate it. But um, until the next time we come together, you all take care and I wish you much and many of God's blessings in your life. All right. I love you and goodbye.